So without a doubt, one of the most, I guess, popular tech support questions I receive on the channel is the Apple Watch and iPhone just not pairing or talking to each other properly. So I figured I would do this video because there are actually two things that I haven't discussed previously that can be the reason why your Apple Watch and your iPhone just aren't pairing with each other. And I'm gonna go over those two things in this video. So like I said, I've done a couple of troubleshooting videos before addressing this issue. So I'm gonna make sure to link those videos down in the description and also in a card up above. You guys can check the those out after we check this video out of course but jumping right into it the first thing that I've kind of noticed from people that have helped troubleshoot this issue is that sometimes it really is just a compatibility issue remember that the Apple watch and the iPhone need to be compatible with each other in order for them to pair properly and not every Apple watch is compatible with every iPhone and not every version of watch OS is compatible with every version of iOS so you kind of have to mix and match and and find out if your device is working with your brand new Apple Watch. There's a couple of scenarios where somebody will go out and buy a brand new Apple Watch Series 5 but have an older iPhone running a older version of iOS that just isn't compatible with the newer Apple Watch. So I figured I would just break down the different compatibilities so you guys can have an idea of what works with what and have a reference for when you're trying to pair your watch. So as a quick point of reference, the Apple Watch Series 1 and Series 2 are compatible with any iPhone 5 or later running an iOS 10 or later. And the Apple Watch Series 3 has two models. It has an LTE version and a non-LTE version. And the newer version of this watch is compatible with iPhone 6S or later running iOS 13 or later. But if you buy an older version of the Apple Watch Series 3, you can probably get it to work with an iPhone 6, but there's no guarantees that it's gonna pair. So you might wanna just stick to a 6S to be on the safe side. Now the Apple Watch Series 4 4 also has two models, it has an LTE and a non-LTE version. The LTE version works with the iPhone 6 or later, and the non-LTE version works with an iPhone 5S or later. Both devices would have to be running iOS 12 or later. And finally, we're dealing with the Apple Watch Series 5. That has to be paired with an iPhone 6S or later, running iOS 13 or later. Now, like I said, it's just not checking only what version of an iPhone you have. You also have to kind of take a look at what iOS you're running. There are scenarios where, you, again, you have the right iPhone but you just haven't updated it in a while and you go out and buy a brand new Apple Watch and that Apple Watch is looking for the latest version of iOS and you're just not running the latest version of iOS and that's going to cause a pairing issue between the two devices. So whenever your Apple Watch just isn't pairing, again go to your compatibility list, make sure your iPhone is compatible with the watch that you have and also make sure you're running the proper iOS on the device so they can talk to each other and pair properly. So now the other reason that a lot of times the Apple Watch doesn't pair to your iPhone is that the activation lock may be on. And there's a couple of scenarios where this can happen. Normally it's not going to happen if you buy a brand new Apple Watch, of course. If you go to the store and you pick up an Apple Watch series, whatever, it's not going to be activation lock because that's a brand new watch. It hasn't been linked to an account previously. So that watch, as long as it's compatible, should pair to your phone without issue. But if you're picking up an Apple Watch from a friend or you have an older Apple Apple Watch that's been sitting in a drawer somewhere and you're trying to repair it to a brand new iPhone and you're having some issues, a lot of the times it could just be that Apple Watch is still linked to a specific account. So if you've done a full reset on the Apple Watch already but haven't removed it from your account, that would be one of the next steps you want to try because sometimes that activation lock can prevent you from pairing your Apple Watch to your phone and not all the time are you going to be getting an error specifically telling you that the activation lock is the reason the problem is happening. So in most cases what you can do is just sign into your iCloud account you're going to go into the find my phone area you're going to go to all your devices and select the Apple Watch from your devices and remove the Apple Watch from your account reboot the device and then try to do the pairing once more again this scenario is if you have an older watch that you're getting from someone else or if you have a watch that's sitting in a drawer somewhere that you want to pair to your iPhone make sure you remove it from the account completely wipe it remove it from any accounts that it's attached to and try to 
repair it again. And nine out of the 10 times that actually helps to fix any kind of pairing issues you may have. So if you're purchasing an Apple Watch, make sure the person you're buying it from also has removed it from their account. Basically any Apple devices that you're getting from someone else, make sure they remove that Apple device from their account because it can cause a lot of different pairing and actually functional issues if that's not done. So these two things account for a lot of the different troubleshooting questions that I get on the channel. One of the major ones is, you know, they have a brand new Apple Watch, they're pairing and they're getting a message saying that their phone isn't as updated as it needs to be and the Apple Watch just needs the phone to be updated in order to pair to it. That particular question, I always tell people to check the compatibility list. That means that whatever operating system you're running on iOS, it's just not talking to the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is not seeing the proper number that it's looking for with that iOS. So more than likely, whenever you purchase a brand new Apple Watch from Apple, you're going to be getting probably the latest watch OS or something close to the latest watch OS on that particular Apple Watch. So it's going to be looking for a higher version of iOS. So make sure you update your phone all the way to the latest version of iOS. If you do that and it's still saying that your phone is not updated enough, it's then it's very possible that your phone just isn't compatible with that particular model of the Apple Watch. Now, if you do have a device that is one compatible and two running the latest version of iOS, but still just not pairing to your Apple Watch, then your next big step is you got to reach out to Apple, man. You got you got to go ahead and give them a call because if you meet all the criteria for pairing your Apple Watch to your iPhone, then there's nothing else you need to do. It should pair automatically if it's not working, especially if it's a brand new watch and your iPhone has been working without issue and it's working with other devices, then more than likely it could just be the Apple Watch that's causing the problem. Don't be afraid to reach out to tech support for Apple or Apple support or just replace or return the watch itself. It's very possible you got a lemon from Apple. It's, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Don't try to troubleshoot a brand new device for too long. It, it irks me when people try to troubleshoot something that they just got from the store. It's just supposed to work. If it doesn't work, you do some very light troubleshooting. And if that doesn't work, you bring it back. You don't waste your time. You don't kill yourself. But hopefully these steps are going to help you kind of get everything sorted out without any headaches. If you have a step that I didn't list that worked for you, please share that in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, you know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with that like button because it tells YouTube that this was a very helpful video. Subscribe button tells me that I was a very helpful host, I guess. And don't forget to also hit that bell for notification. That bell is actually pretty important because it's the only way you guys are going to know and release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys, I'm going to put the other videos that we did about the Apple Watch not pairing. So if this one doesn't work, you can check out those and try to troubleshoot it as much as possible. Until next time, guys, as always, make sure to stay safe and peace out.